Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, from hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is always a healing system, a regenerating system, a renewing system. It's designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that renewing, healing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. We want to hear from you, 844-236-6010. Do not feel condemned to the medical model. If you're stuck to your drugs or your doctor or your medical strategies, please understand there are alternatives. There are nutritional alternatives. There are healthy alternatives. And we want to help you change your life or help you change the lives of loved ones, workmates, family members today, now, starting right away. Call 844-236-6010. Let's get you on the air, and we'll get you set up on a good nutritional supplement program no matter what your health challenge is, and you can change your life today or change the lives of loved ones, workmates, family members today as well. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to sign up and join Me and my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, or if you want to make a little bit extra money or a lot of extra money, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, you can get set up as a distributor. And uh, they can tell you all about it if you call 866-735-2470, or you go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up right off, from the web, right off the website. And you can also sign up to get our weekly newsletter at criticalhealthnews.com, criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, head over to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a special look at our retinol 5% gel. Okay, so we're talking vitamin E, which like the other fatty vitamins, A and K, And D is actually a family of vitamins. The one we hear about most of the time is called tocopherol. Tocopherol means to bear children. And specifically, we hear about one of the tocopherols. There's actually four of them. We hear about one of them. This is the main one. This is the one that's found in the greatest abundance in our body. It's called alpha tocopherol. But there's three other tocopherols. And there's also a whole other class of of uh, vitamin E called the tocotrienols. And we've talked about that a little bit in the past. The tocotrienols are, are really fast getting a reputation for being more powerful as antioxidants than the tocopherols. Now, the downside on the tocotrienols is they're not as abundant, found as abundantly in nature, so they tend to be more expensive. And you kind of have to go out of your way if you really want to go the tocotrienol route. Personally, I use mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols. And you do have to go out of your way and you have to spend, you have to spend some money. Vitamin E is cheap, but mixed tocopherols, all the alpha, beta, delta, gamma, all the tocopherols and the tocotrienols, they're not so cheap. So you're going to have to spend a little bit of money. But man, oh man, if you have a cardiovascular health issue or if you have a brain health issue or if you have a skin health issue or if you have a liver health issue or if you just want to be healthy, man, you really want... Mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols, in my humble opinion. Now, you're not going to get these from food. There's, uh, of course, uh, they're in foods, but you're not going to get large amounts or the kind of amounts, the kind of dosages you need from 
foods. And by the way, tocopherols, vitamin E, and tocotrienols are mostly found in veggies, or sometimes they'll be found in, in uh, animals that eat lots of veggies, specifically fish, which eat lots of plankton and algae. You're not going to find, if you're a meat eater, primarily getting your food from, from flesh foods, you're not going to find a lot, of, a lot of vitamin E in fleshy foods. It's mostly found in seeds. Nature uses vitamin E to protect seeds, which are loaded with fats. Seeds are probably nature's richest source of concentrated fats, and that's why most of our oils are seed oils. And it's also why the more seed oils you're using, the more tocopherols you want to take, the more vitamin E you want to take. In nature, the oils are found in very tiny amounts, and they're usually a little bit of vitamin E to protect that oil. But what we've done is we've extracted that oil, and now we have these concentrated oils, and we're all ingesting concentrated, dense amount of oils, even in supplements, which means... If you want to duplicate nature anyway, you want to be using vitamin E with your oils, with your essential fatty acids, with your supplements. Coconut oil, not so much because that, that tends to be stable, but certainly vegetable oils, seed oils, grain oils. Oh my God. If you're eating lots of seed and grain oils, whether it's in a nutritional supplement or not, you want to make sure you're using vitamin E. Now, qual, uh, a good, high quality nutritional supplement companies will include vitamin E when they, have their, uh, when they sell you their oils. But it's still not a bad idea to take extra. So as I say, the most well-known of the vitamin E's is alpha tocopherol. It's the first one that was discovered. It's the predominant form that's found in our blood. But that doesn't mean that you don't need the other ones. That's why you want the mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols. In my humble opinion, it's more expensive to su supplement this way. Make no mistake. Tocotrienols are pricey. Mixed tocotrienols are even pricier. Same with mixed tocopherols, but it's worth it in my opinion. You're not going to get it from food and the benefits on vitamin E and all the forms of vitamin E are, there's voluminous articles on every one of the forms of vitamin E. I have a, it's a, a thousand plus page book here called the Encyclopedia of Vitamin E and it's got hundreds of papers in it about everything from uh, vitamin E for uh, the heart to vitamin E for the brain to uh, vitamin E for liver health to vitamin E for what's called ischemia, which is a uh, cardiovascular heart issue where heart cells don't get nutrition for blood thinning, for uh, nitric oxide, which is a major hormone we've talked about, for diabetes, for uh, Parkinson's disease. I mean, it's incredible the benefits you get from this thing, all because vitamin E protects fats. And as we said yesterday, all the cells in the body are wrapped around with a layer of fat. So vitamin E protects every single cell in the body, which means it's going to benefit everything. It's worth it, in my opinion. One of the major things that, one of the major biochemicals that vitamin E protects is cholesterol. And if you're concerned about elevated cholesterol, you're eating lots of cholesterol, as important as cholesterol is, you want to make sure you're using your vitamin E. Vitamin E protects cholesterol from going rancid. In fact, rancid cholesterol is really interesting stuff that nobody ever talks about. It's called oxy-cholesterol. And while nobody's really ever shown definitively that cholesterol is a problem, and when you think about what cholesterol does in the body, I would tell you it's not a problem. It's the most important chemical in the body. Let me just say this as definitively, as clearly as I can. Cholesterol is the most important molecule in your body. Take that to your doctor. Take that to your cardiologist. There is no biomolecule more fundamentally important for growth, repair, living, thinking, moving than cholesterol. None. And I could tell you all the reasons, and I've told you all the reasons about the steroid hormones and about wrapping around, about uh, protecting nerve cells and muscle cells. It doesn't matter. I'm just telling you the, the bottom line of this whole thing is cholesterol is the most important molecule in your body that your body makes, that is. Most important homemade endogenous biomolecule. To take a drug that suppresses it is on the scale of stupidity of dumb medical strategies. If it was a pyramid, at the top of the pyramid, arguably, you'd find the pyramid of medical stupidity, you would find statin drugs using the use of statin drugs long term. And I'll be more specific here when I come back from our break. And I say arguably because there's a lot of dumb things that the medical model does. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. You are listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. Got open lines. Got a full open board for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If we don't get any calls, we'll get to some letters here. Uh, Doc was on. Dr. Wallach was on. George Nori, I think Sunday night. And after Doc or Dr. Glidden or myself, we go on George Nori. We get all these letters to criticalhealthnews.com. Hopefully, hopefully some of the coast-to-coast listeners are listening to this program. But uh, even if they're not, some of the letters are, are interesting. And, and what I've discovered from being in the health business now for 30, almost 30 years, or if you include being a student for over 30 years, what I've discovered is that there's not a lot of problems that people have. It seems like our problems are so personal to us when we have them, and indeed they are. They're our, they're our health challenges. But in the big picture, to a healthcare professional who sees lots and lots of people, there's not a lot of things that break down in the body. And they all have certain things in common. That's really the underlying philosophy that I want everybody to understand if they're dealing with a health challenge, which can be miserable. Underneath all the flavors, if you will, it's ice cream. If you understand that, that's kind of a weird metaphor. But underneath the specifics of our health issues, you got commonalities. And you got one single commonality that is underneath all chronic long-term degenerative disease, which is really what we're talking about on this program. The vast majority of our health care challenges, our health misery, is based physical per, from a physical perspective, not emotional, mental. And I'm not marginalizing that. That's important, too. But from a physical perspective, the vast majority of our health issues are of the chronic, long-term, non-healing, progressively degrading, deteriorating kind, where we just keep breaking down, where our body just keeps dissolving, like the Wicked Witch in the West. I'm melting. That's exactly what happens to us. That's what chronic degenerative disease is. And we'll call it all kinds of names, cancer, diabetes. We'll call it autoimmune disease, multiple sclerosis, ankylosing spondylitis, Hydrogenitis, superativa, whatever. There's all these weird diagnoses and Latin, di- Latin monikers and descriptions for these things. But underneath all of these health challenges, these mis- you can't, if you don't have one of these health challenges, you cannot under, uh, there's no way to appreciate the misery that these things cause. And if you have one, you know what I'm talking about. But underneath them all, you have the same problem. Dirty blood leading to sick cells. Cells that are not being fed, cells that are not being oxygenated, cells that are swimming in their own waste, including sugar. And then the body's protective response. That's it, you guys. Everything of all the 100 plus million Americans who are dealing with these kinds of problems, this is what you're going to find underneath it all. And there's not a single drug on the planet. Let me repeat. There is not a single drug on the planet. I'm a pharmacist. I'm a RPH studying these things. And I've studied them for many years, for decades. There isn't a single one that can make a wits bit of difference in these fundamental breakdowns. Is that bad news? No, it's great news because it liberates us. It frees us. It makes us independent of the medical model, independent of the worst kind of tyranny there is, which is medical tyranny, which is health tyranny. Yeah, I know about the New World Order, and I know about globalism, and, and I know about the Illuminati, or at least I've read about all of this stuff. But who cares if you got colon cancer? Who cares if you got heart disease? You know, if you have heart disease and you're, have a heart, and you're having a, uh, an angina attack or you're having a heart attack, you think you're going to be thinking about globalism or the New World Order? No. This is the most fundamental place where we are, we are abused through the medical model. And I'm not blaming doctors because they are falling for it too. And nothing exemplifies the craziness of the model. The model, folks, not the individuals here. The model more than the statin drug, statin promotion of statin drugs and and demonization of what I consider to be the most important biomolecule in the body, which is cholesterol. And if you think of another one that's more important, I want to know what it is. I I mean, I shouldn't say that. Obviously, there are some that are as important. You can't say one is the most important, but it's up there. Right along there with hemoglobin, which carries oxygen. I mean, anyway. There's an interesting relationship between statin drugs and vitamin E, by the way. According to the journal Medical Hypothesis, statin drugs have been shown to lower blood levels of vitamin E. In addition 
to all the fatty vitamins. This is really the, this may be 